Hello, good evening. It is I, old school, old fool, your wrestling buddy, soft and squishy, but not available in stores. With more MFW TV, this is episode 31. And uh, tonight's card is a little, a little odd, a little different, but uh, that's the way things have kind of gone now that Hippie Joe is in charge as MFW's lead official. Tonight's card, if uh, you haven't checked it out yet on uh, the socials, whether that be the uh, Old School Old Fool Twitch Facebook page or on criticalclub.com under eFeds, uh, tonight's opening match, Core Miller, Milwaukee's Beast, is up against Justin Hanschmidt. Uh, Cora looking for win number three. If he wins tonight, he will earn a shot at regaining the MFW Champion Championship from his partner in the Tag Team Unhappy Hour, Old Fashioned Betty Brandy. Spirit Cube, we will get to that. But I dig foreshadowing, so that's cool. Uh, second match tonight, Trailer Thrash versus Animal House. Both have a win. Let's see who can get win number two. In uh, in our third match, also seeking win number two as a tag team, a fairly new tag team, uh, a strange arrangement, Ultimo Pinguino and Holly Ames, who have settled on the name Slap or Tap, going up against Low Hanging Fruit, Cal Jobert and Balls Jabroni. Uh, in our fourth match, because he wants our champion to be sharp, he wants our champion to do work, uh, Benny Brandy will be in a non-title match against lead official Hippie Joe. So Hippie Joe is going to test his mettle against the champ, hoping iron sharpen, sharpens iron, I guess, is the, is the logic behind that. And then in our main event tonight... Due to his win in a impromptu deathmatch last week, Harry Blackstone is getting a proving ground match against the master of the deathmatch champion, Captain Cheese Curd, both probably going to be beat up after Harry's deathmatch with his partner, New Jill. And uh, Captain Cheese Curd was in the... Uh, the B6, the Big Barbecue Beef Brisket Bunkhouse Brawl. Uh, both brutal matches from last week, and they go into a deathmatch environment once again. So, with all of that being said, now that we have run down the card, and sorry, I hope there's not feedback on my mic, but uh, it was whistling in my ear a little. Uh, we are going to go to MFW's Private Fight Island for in-ring action. <laughs> oh, thanks, Spirit Cube. Okay, cool, cool. I'm, I'm glad to hear that that was just my end and not so much anything putting you guys through uh, icky feedback or anything like that. A nice backflip, a flex. Milwaukee's Beast is in the ring waiting for his opponent. Try hard Justin Hanschmidt heading to the ring. Now, some folks have said he bears a strong resemblance to Fred Hansen who we have not seen in an MFW ring for a while. Clubber and forearm and a stop from the beast to start things off. Hanschmidt elects to work on the arm. But that was short-lived. Core Miller not having it. Early pin attempt, no cover delivered, or no count delivered by our referee in these opening matches, Sandy Jenkins. 
Justin stops his momentum off the ropes, reverses, sends Cal, uh, Corey in, I'm sorry. Cal will see light later with uh, Balls of Jabroni, the team of low-hanging fruit. Oh, after all of that, again, referencing the Susan St. Marie handbook, Justin missed his strike after all those leapovers. Core misses a pump kick. Does not miss that big overhand right, though. Suplexes a plenty. Ah, alrighty, Vic. Seismic worm about to be delivered. Oh, and the ring has shook. Justin Hanschmidt is shook as well. Core, big back body drop. Core is pretty tall. Justin had quite a ways to land there. Sliding forearm. Shoots Justin to the corner. Big pump kick. Moonsault double stomps. Two of them. Corey going up a third time, lands it again. Stomping the air and the life out of Justin Hanschmidt. But Justin throws Corey to the outside, does not have time to follow up on it. Clubbing forearm from the beast. Another moonsault double stop. Hits it again. Corey's fired up. He has landed a mess of those double stomps early. Stay down. Yeah. Ah, Vic, the American dream. Double rotation moonsault from the beast, and it is over in very, very short order. Justin Hanschmidt, not much of a showing. Which is kind of sad, because he has a big match next week. And we're going to talk about that in just a little bit. We will probably go to our second match and then discuss that. Core Miller now, win number three. Three, which means he will get his hands on Benny Brandy and another title shot in the near future. All right, so to tag team action now. Got a couple tag matches back to back. Trailer Thrash going to throw down with uh, Animal House here. Ah, I believe that, Vic. And, uh... I know she's opinionated and she blasts them often because uh, she does not like the way they do things at all. All right, folks, in the tag action, on to match two already. Justin not putting up much of a fight against Core Miller, Milwaukee's Beast. Beasted him, if you will. So heading to the ring now for Animal House against Trailer Thrash. Sandy Jenkins, your referee. Trailer Thrash coming out to the ring first. 
Yes, Sphere Cube, we do have that to look forward to. Trailer Thrash out next. Sandy and Victor looking for win number two. The big pyros go off. We spare no expense at MFW at MFW Fight Island. That is certain. We have to keep those animated cardboard cutouts in the audience happy. Fight. Hinks and Mother's Ball to start. Test the strength. Karen picks an ankle. Oh, Vic now with a choke quickly. Working his way from the bottom there. Drop toe hold. Oh, overhand, overhand slap from Karen. Karen again gets a takedown. Vic again grabs the choke hold. Hink, Hinks and Mother's Ball again in a test of strength. No one gaining the advantage. Same scenario again. Karen gets a takedown. Hinks puts her in a choke. Well, Karen's got him a bit tied up now, but Hinks got out of there quickly. She tags in Don. Victor tags in Sandy. Hinks and Mother's Boss still going at it. Hinks now vacates the ring. Sandy got thrown into Karen, stopped her momentum, kind of stunned her for a second. Allowed Don to get that suplex in. Sandy whipped to her corner. Randy gets a little kick in. Nice arm drag from Lipner. Drop down. Then a Rana. Very nicely done. Oh. Solid question there in the chat from Vic Sketch. Oh. Don goes low on Sandy. Now a forearm choke across the throat. Jenkins giving the count. And Lipner's going to tag in Hinks. Buker tags in Karen. Don gets a double suplex for his trouble. Karen and Victor trading hands. Both down. Hinks up first. Figure eight in the corner. Oh, and Hinks just tossed to the outside by Mother's Ball. She does not go in pursuit. Stops the kick attempt with a big slap. Nice uh, back suplex out of the headlock from Hinks. Elbow lands. Back to the figure eight. Now at least he's not in enemy territory. More towards the center uh, center part of the ring. Hinks tags in Lipner, trying to keep Karen in their, in their corner, but Karen escapes, able to make the tag to Buker. Oof. Don caught Hinks with an ugly uppercut on uh, his way out. Nice spin kick from Lipner. Goes for a cover. Doesn't even get a one. Lipner flips out of the suplex attempt but misses the lariat. Shoots Buker off the ropes. Hits the spin kick yet again.
Sandy trying to lure Don over towards her corner. It's effective, but only a one count there for the pin attempt by Don. Snap suplex from Lipner, tags in Hinks. Don gets a cutter and an elbow dropped on him. Oh, trick leg from Buker. Drops Lipner and he makes the tag to Karen. Sidewalk slam from Buker. Jawbreaker from uh, Karen. Hinks fighting back. Cross body lands, cover. Gets a two count. Inzagiri lands. Deadlift German with a bridge. Only a two. Buker sticks his nose in. Hinks is going to tag in Lipner. Everybody's in the ring. Rear chin lock on Karen applied by Hinks before he leaves the ring. Sandy in pursuit now. Big leg drop from Lipner. And a divorce court driving that arm into the mat. Gut wrench. Deadlift. But Karen gets away and makes the tag. Trailer thrash, double team power bomb on Lipner. Karen now stretching her. Had those arms extended. But Lipner able to make the tag to Hinks. Oh, referee Sandy Jenkins is down as Buker ran into her. Don and Hinks trading hands. Sandy now back up to her feet. Hinks catches Don in the corner with that insegiri. Oh, knee to the nads. Hinks has nards. Hinks has nards. Armbar, but Sandy in there to break it up. Hinks now in there with uh, Trailer Thrash. He got double team power bomb and he's trying to fight him off. Oh, they hit him with the power bomb again. Karen, big back suplex. They both tag. Yes, she is, Spheric Cube. Actually, it's pretty much instant. Anytime there's a ref bump, they end up bloodied for whatever reason. Hinks double power bombed again. Don hits a sidewalk slam on Sandy. Sandy tosses Don to the outside. Hinks ready to rumble out there. Don had a light tube. Headlock takeover. Are they going to win by count out yet again? Will Hinks tie up Don on the outside? It is entirely possible. We're up to a 10 count now. Don with every last cent on Hinks out on the out on the floor. Hinks now in control. Gets that arm ringer. Leaves Don out there. Don gets back in at roughly 18. Lands the vertical suplex on Lipner, and I think he's going to get a tag. Yep, he does. Sandy now tags in Hinks. Hinks and Karen, the legal participants, they suplex her out of the ring. Looked like Hinks was thinking about taking flight. Sandy counters the powerbomb with Arana. Hinks going for Space Squirrel. The big somersault elbow drop. Boom, it lands it. 
And now he tags in Lipner. Karen gets the tag out. And again, Hinks gets hit with the double power bomb. Sandy and Don now. Sandy! Sandy has snapped! Putting the beat down on Don. Oh! Parachute pin, but Karen breaks it up quickly. Sandy getting worked over now by Trailer Thrash. Stop from Buker. Oh, Sandy's mad. Tags in Hinks. Oh, trick leg to Sandy. Oh, Hinks misses the cross body. Big uppercut from Don puts him down. He tags in Karen. Oh, and he's suplexed to the outside now. Sandy in there now. Hinks is back. Strike exchange with Karen now. Big super kick from Hinks. Puts her down. Uppercut drops her. Drops a body splash on her. Fisherman suplexes. Fisherman buster from Karen. Crowd starting to get into it. Repeated Mongolian chops after the takedown. Sandy in to break it up. Uh, Mrs. Tiki got longer than things have been going lately. That is for sure. Hinks gets out of the trailer thrash corner. Tags in Lipner. Spinning heel kick from Lipner. Don going up top. Drops an elbow right to the solar plexus of Sandy. Oh, a trick leg yet again. Off the ropes. Oh, big clothesline from Buker. And follows with an uppercut. Don tags in Karen. Sandy going to get a chance to tag out here, and she does. Less than five minutes remaining. 30-minute time limit in this one. Animal House now with the double team. They get the double suplex off. Standing Moonsault into a cover. Oh, 2.9. Poor Sandy Jenkins almost got ran over again. With that collision between Victor and Don. Victor drops the elbow. Karen not letting him have the arm. Shoots Karen into the trailer thrash corner and elects to tag in Sandy instead. Karen surprisingly did not tag out while she was over there. Oh! Huge clothesline from Sandy. Firing up the crowd late. German. Tiger, time after time, gets the pinfall for Animal House. That was a wonderful fight, and Sandy busted out her finisher for the first time in a long time, 100%. The crowd loved it. 
The cardboard cutouts pleased as punch with this match. Here on MFW Fight Island. All right, folks, more tag team action to come. Low hanging fruit versus slap or tap. So, I'm sure folks are asking, uh, what is with Slap or Tap? Why are Holly Ames and Ultimo Pinguino together as a team? Now, uh, Vic Sketch, that would be a yes. Uh, that was put up in the preview. Um, so, long story short... Ultimo Pinguino, one, sees Holly as almost as evil as she is. Two, after her little losing streak to, uh, or her trouble with Lucha Del Norte, realized that it was probably time that she made some sort of ally here in MFW. And three, why not try a run for the tag titles so Holly Ames one loves the spotlight two wants gold back in her life again after losing the master of the deathmatch title and three is just as apt to mess with people as Ultimo Pinguino is so since they have found some common ground they have decided to stick together at least for the time being and uh, they have adapted the name slap or tap which I believe is some mental warfare trying to get into the head of snap suplex because uh, Holly Ames and Ultimo Pinguino have never played mind games with other people in MFW before Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Also, since I said I was going to get to it after uh, match two there, we had a Be the Booker Man channel points cash in from Spheric Cube. And the match that he would like to see, the question that he needs answered. And I agreed with them. I'm I'm hyped to see it. Next week we will have Justin Hansman, Hanschmidt against Fred Hansen. Fred Hansen coming back to the MFW ring. You know, it's been rumored that they're one and the same, but uh, we will get our answer next week when uh, Fred Hansen takes on. Justin Hanschmidt. So, <coughs> pardon me so very much for coughing over the mic. I'm going to grab another drink of water and then send this to the ring. Sandy Jenkins, your referee once again. Jimmy Buffer will take over on match four. More tag team action now with Slap or Tap Ultimo Pinguino, who is evil indeed, teaming with the caustic co ed Holly Ames. Fearsome females indeed. Indeed. Taking on another fairly new tag team, Low Hanging Fruit, Balls Jabroni and Cal Jobert. Bear. 
Low Cal Jobert and the masked superstar Balls Jabroni. Holly and Cal to start. Cal catches her with a quick spin kick off the bat. Holly, nice spin around drop toe hold there. Hits it again. Taking down Jobert in a myriad of ways thus far. Wow, that tackle. Holly and Cal now out on the floor. Repeated knees to the head. It looked like Ultimo was thinking about uh, getting in on that as well. But she has backed off. Nah, right you are, Vic Sketch. Oh, double team power bomb from low hanging fruit on Holly there. Balls with a drop to hold. Oh, and a throat thrust. Holly tags in Ultimo. Oh, nice suplex from Holly. Both members of Slapper Tap in there now. Oh, there's the slap. Putting the slap and slap or tap. The fierce flying flippers of Ultimo Pinguino. Ooh, nasty throat chop again from Balls. Body slam, Ultimo slides out of the ring. Back in quickly though, Balls did not pursue her. Ultimo thrown to the corner. Balls did not get a chance to follow up. Pinguino working on regaining control. Chops, forearms. Flippers win this round. Oh. <laughs> ah, Spirit Cube reminds me just like Mama used to make. Only stiffer. Lays in them chops. Yeah. Holly now with some ground and pound for Joe Bear. He takes balls back in right away. Quick tags from both teams. Everybody's in the pool right now. Believe Ultimo and Balls are the legal participants. DDT from Balls Jabroni. So uh, what the chat room is saying is that Mr. Jabroni could definitely use the lawnmower 3.0 from Manscaped. Uh, don't mind me angling for sponsors. Balls proud of himself after throwing Pinguino to the floor. Pinguino wrenches his arm on the way back in. Balls with a small package. Uh, I've been dying to say that. Shoulder breaker from Ultimo Pinguino. Tags in Holly Ames. Shoots Jabroni to the corner. Oh. More chops than the butcher. Ultimo Pinguino. Holly raining knees down. Cal in there to break it up. Oh, and now she's just going to ground and pound. Cal stopping it again. I understand, Vic. They just turned the air on. Yes. Holly sent to the corner. Balls with a monkey flip. Holly tags in Ultimo. 
Ooh, leg sweep STO combo. I can dig it. Pop knee from Holly, and now the low slung DDT from Ultimo Pinguino. French flipper. Ample package. Oh, Cal eats a gut buster. Double arm breaker being applied now. His ball's gonna. Yeah, he breaks that up right away. Oh. Ultimo with a two count on balls, Jabroni. Oh, rapid fire flippers. Oh my gosh, coming from everywhere. Pinguino is hot. Oh, Falcon Arrow. He did the deal. Repeated throat thrust from balls, Jabroni. French flipper hits once again. Both are down. Ultimo up first. Goes for a cover. 2.9. Wow. Wow. The chat is on fire. Holy mackerel. Slugging it out now. Discus Lariat from Ultimo, and she tags in Holly. Ball's able to wriggle away and tag in Jobert. Suplex with a bridge. Holly pins Jobert. It is over. And I got to say, other than a couple... <laughs> Damn it, Sphere Cube. Other than a couple flashes of brilliance from balls, some ball flashing, slap or tap was always in control. So, that makes win number two for slap or tap. Uh, and I assume they're going to try for win number three rather soon here. Jobert stuck out because he couldn't get it up in time. At least it wasn't Balls for the drop. You know, Balls does a people's elbow style elbow. I've been, I've been thinking about that maybe being the ball drop or uh, testicular descent or uh, something like that. Uh... Yes, Mrs. Tiki God, they beat Lucha Del Norte last week on episode 30. Yep, Spirit Cube is there. So, yes, ma'am, Mrs. Tiki God, they've got two under their belt already. Alrighty, now to non title action. Our MFW champion champion against our MFW lead official, Hippie Joe. Jimmy Buffer taking over the officiating duties for the rest of the night. So we will send it back to the ring for some more action. Uh, after this match, I'll probably uh, work a couple of plugs in real quick. And uh, then we will uh, go to our main event and get that set up. Wow. Spirit Cube has zero love for the Minnesota Lucha duo. Old fashioned Benny Brandy, your MFW champion champion. 
looking dapper as always and ready to throw hands per the usual. Going up against MFW lead official Hippie Joe. The tree hugger. Ah, and a Be the Booker Man redemption from Mrs. Tiki God this evening as well. Holy buckets. Hippie Joe thrown to the outside by that body slam. Back in quickly. Rapid fire forearms, rapid fire fists. Hippie Joe said he wants to keep Benny Brandy sharp. Half of me wonders if there is a hidden MO. If Hippie Joe were to beat the champion in a non-title match, he could per perhaps try to finagle himself a title opportunity. Oh, good lord. Uh, yeah, Mrs. Tiki God, I'm going to have to look at that and, uh, and see what the deal is there if uh headbutt down below from the hippie now he's gonna tie up Be benny Yeah, I'm not sure what limits are on that, Mrs. Tiki God. Jefferson airplane spin now from Hippie Joe. I'm going to have to think of some sort of epic reward and set it at like 50,000 points. I swear, you guys. You're killing me. I mean, I love it, but you're killing me. Hippie Joe is uh, staying right on top of Benny here. Oh, nice graphics glitch there. Leg drop way deep in the corner. Oh, another big leg drop from the top rope. Hippie Joe is opening up a can. Now, I just want to throw this scenario out for everybody. Can you imagine how Red Hansen would feel if Hippie Joe finagled his way into a title match after all that Red Hansen did to deny him a couple months back? Well, Mrs. Tiki God, I want to say one went through because I got it on my activity feed. So. Ground and pound from Benny now. Benny trying to mount some offense. And Hippie Joe has just been kind of running ragged on him. Big pump kick lands. Ooh. Oh, out of nowhere, Benny busting out, bounced. What? What?
bounced out of nowhere, and it is done. The crowd actually, that's actually a pretty good score for such a short match. Holy buckets. And and Hippie Joe had 90% of the offense in that match. Bounced out of nowhere. And Hippie Joe is put away. Wow. I wonder, gosh, I, I wonder what the future holds there because... I can't I can't imagine that sitting good with the boss. I just can't. I Wow. I have got nothing. That was some kind of something. So yeah, to uh since uh since matches are running real short, let's talk about this for a quick second, y'all. Uh, one, I definitely got to come up with something else for channel points and a, and a great big one so folks can save up. Um, two, I believe I've got Spirit Cube's match coming up. I want to say I'm waiting. I now have two. Ma I now owe two matches to Mrs. Tiki God. And she is able to cash for more. Vic Vic Sketch is sitting on a couple a couple worth of matches to cash in. Yeah, you know, I yeah, I I'm thinking maybe a fifty thousand and a one hundred thousand and uh yeah, I gotta, I gotta think of what those are gonna be. So, uh, good lord, you guys, I, I'm hating this and loving this all at the same time because uh, that that's a lot of points that I gotta answer for. But yeah, you guys are you guys are dedicated, and I love it, and I thank you guys a, mu a bunch. It's uh, it's great seeing y'all when I when I hop on the stream. It really is, and uh, it helps a lot during these uh during these weird lonely times, cause uh, I'm sure we're all loving uh, feeling cooped up. So uh. Uh, Mrs. Tiki God, I think there's quite a few different things I can, uh, I think I can offer. I'm, I'm gonna have to do a lot of brainstorming. Uh, so, uh, I'm, so, he, here's what I can say. I am going to hope, I'm not gonna promise, I'm gonna hope that there's a couple more options for channel points by next week, Thursday, Episode 32. Uh, Mrs. Tiki God, there's some of that stuff. There's the unlock emotes and, uh, highlight, uh, Highlight messages, stuff like that, but yeah, there should be a uh, there should be a few little things. Um, all right. Uh, so we are going to work. On setting up our main event here.
And since it's a Proving Ground match, it's only a 15-minute time limit. That's all that Harry has to endure. But uh, if he can beat the champ... <laughs> oh, I don't know about that, Spirit Cube. Man, if... Uh... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> You know, the more that I think about that, that would be kind of funny, like a, uh, like a, uh, a f well, you know, shut down the stream, stop it, and then like, like a forced rebrand, like, I don't know. No, that'd be terrible, because man, I got all my socials, I got all my stuff set up right now, man, that would be the worst. That would be terrible. I don't, ah, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Alrighty, guys, so... Ah, boo! Did you read the chat room rules, Spirit Cube? I'm kidding. That's, uh... I, I, I'm, just, I'm just giving you a hack. Oh, yeah, it, that's not self-promotion. You're promoting for somebody else. I guess it's okay. I kid. I, I'm playing Spirit Cube, but... Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, uh... And I guess, uh... You know, keep keep hitting me up with ideas. Uh, being that you're all IRL friends for me... Uh... You know, feel free to message me or whatever, uh with other ideas and I'll and I'll I'll take them under consideration. I'm but uh with all that being discussed and I appreciate all that feedback. Let let me tell you. Uh thank you guys all. But uh we're going to get to the ring for some violence. Proving ground match for the Master of the Deathmatch title. Your main event this evening. Chicago Wizard Harry Blackstone up against MFW Master of the Deathmatch Champion, The Big Cheese, Captain Cheese Curd. Light tubes right away in play. Harry eating some glass. Courtesy of The Big Cheese, Captain Cheese Curd. Harry unable to suplex the big man. He got suplexed on a chair. Not a great place to land at all. Captain Cheese Curd turning it on early. High angle Boston Crab. Harry gets out of there. Harry into the light tube board again. Cross body. Captain out quickly. Off the ropes. Harry actually barrels through the big man. Oh, belly to belly. Surprising strength from Blackstone. Captain with a backbreaker and a fist drop. Double knees to the small of the back from Blackstone. Rapid fire punches from the captain, drops all that weight on the chest of Harry and gets a one. Give up. Give up. High angle crab again from the captain. Harry into light tubes again. Slammed onto a chair. Now that high Give angle up. crab again. Give up. Harry doing his best to hang in there. 
Hip drop from the captain with the pin and a two. Earthquake drop, bonsai drop, all that ass, whatever you want to call it. Again, all that weight on the chest. Carry out at two. Cheese curd into the light tubes this time. And Harry slams the big man. Cutter. Curd cutter. Prison Huggle struggle now applied by the captain. Headbutt from Blackstone drops an elbow. Oh, and Harry out to the landmine. Barbed wire and boom boom. Oh, Tuffet Buster, he's up in the rack. Give up. Give up. Harry able to survive. Harry is busted open now, though. Got the big man up for a suplex. Trading shots. Lariat from Blackstone. Headbutt from the captain. Captain up first, though. Big elbow. Up in here. <laughs> oh, both men into light tubes. Deadlift German, but Harry up quickly. DDT from Blackstone, Captain right back up. These guys are just throwing down. Kind of what I figured. Uppercut drops Blackstone. Gut wrench German. Or I mean deadlift German, I apologize. Another deadlift German. The captain doing his best Yuri the Bear impression. Harry with the kendo stick, not for long, but oh, captain out to the landmine. Captain busted open now as well. Both men have taken a trip to the uh, to the dangerous ringside area. Captain barrels through, sits down. And gets the win. I gotta say, Harry put up a big fight. I will give him that. But man, the captain, this is this has proved to kind of be his gig so far. The captain is uh hanging tough as your master of the deathmatch champion. So, with that, uh, what can we look forward to on episode 32 of MFW TV? Well, we will have Fred Hansen versus Justin Hanschmidt. We will uh, have matches other than that one. No, but, uh, seriously, I could, uh, oh, Harry, Harry Balls might rival Ichi Dick. Ah, uh, wow. Oh, oh. Yeah, you know, that, uh, that, that's legit, Spirit Cube. I, uh, I like that idea. We are all full of wonderful ideas this evening. Um, and that is great. I am I am digging it. So uh so what's on the horizon? Well, Core Miller will get another shot against Benny Brandy. Uh Snap or Tap is probably gonna look for win number three sooner than later. I would not be surprised to see them back in action next week. 
Animal House has two wins as well. Um, it'll be interesting to see if Hippie Joe lets them both pursue their three-win streak or puts them up against each other. Uh, entirely possible. Mrs. Tiki God, I would be all about that, except uh, I need more before I get another slot for emotes opened up. I have to have X amount of subscribers, which uh, is probably not anywhere in the near future. Um, unless I let them redesign, or uh, unless I let them make an emoji and replace one of the ones I have already. So, uh, but, but another good idea and possible. So, uh, but since this is all I got for wrestling, I am going to let all you wonderful folks go. Thank you very much, Mrs. Tiki God, Vic Sketch, Sphere Cube, for hanging out and watching. Uh, love you guys. Thanks so much for your support. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful rest of the evening. And this is Old School Old Fool signing off. Good night.